she a nympho I wanna fuck, baby, let me get your info Let me know what you wanna get yourself into Yeah, I know that you got some daddy issues How's it going, nerds? My name is Linkwood, and welcome to another mod for Doki Doki Literature Club. This is Doki Doki, a brand new day. This is the demo of it. Uh, we're gonna go check it out. I honestly have no clue what's going in with this. I just found it and I was like, hey, let's do it because I'm basically becoming a Doki Doki channel now, which is, I don't care at this point. It's content and I get to make videos. That's all I really want. So let's get right back into it. Please enter your name. Uh, let, let's keep it like we always do. Not Blucky, Blicky. It feels like I'm in a dream. I see a dark void, nothingness. Everything is cold and dead around me. I feel a voice speak directly into my mind. I'm doing what I can to help you. It's up to you now. It's time to be a fucking hero. Both of us. Save. Them. All. I wake up in a cold sweat. I feel my skin crawling. I tried to shake off the dream, but it was too real. Crap, I'm gonna be late for school. I'm pulling a Sayori. I hurry up and get ready for school, eat a quick breakfast, and rush to Sayori's house. Watch her not even be up yet. Oh, aha, I finally beat you out here. What took you so long? You're normally out before me. I guess you win my title now for champion of being late. Are you ready to go? Yeah, Sayori, sorry about that. Flicky, you're apologizing to me? Wow, there must be something wrong with you. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. What got you out of bed so early today? Well, today is opening ceremony for seniors this year, and I'm finally getting you to join my club today. Hmm, I don't remember saying that I would join. Yes, you did. Don't you remember, silly? Um, no, I don't remember at all, honestly. Well, I clearly remember hearing you say yes, especially when you heard we were bringing cupcakes. Cupcakes? Did you say cupcakes? Why are there not question marks? Who knows? Cupcakes, my only weakness. That and cute girls. I mean, who isn't? Honestly. I clear my throat and adjust my uniform as it became disheveled from the cupcakening. Well, if you put it that way, I'll come visit the club at least. Let me partake in one of those of your cupcakes, then I will see. Yay! Well, asking, I think that's dangerously of cupcakes. How do you think dangerously of cupcakes? I. Start needlessly drooling while staring at Sayori. <laughs> is everything alright? You're looking at me kinda weird. But there is still the anime club. I can hang out with all the, the other dudes, I can watch anime, read manga, and play games. No, don't do that. I should do the right thing and check it out. I bet she might want me to join her instead. After all, she's been bugging me since forever. I don't want to leave her hanging. Anime club, don't pick this dummy. What happens if we click it? But I thought you could... Could what? Join the club I'm in. Uh, please? Please, Blicky, give me a chance. Come to the dark side. We have cupcakes. <laughs> Fine, I'll come to your club at least for the cupcakes. Yay! This is when I sold my soul to the dark side for a cute girl smile and cupcakes. But screw it. At least the dark side is cupcakes. So I couldn't go to the anime club no matter what. Okay, I thought it was going to like end the game or something and have to restart. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. it took damn long enough. Why did they decide to make opening day Sunday this year? Sunday isn't even official school day. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. I'm bored as hell. Clubs. She already wants me to check out some clubs. Specifically, her club. I start to daydream a little of little cupcakes jumping into my mouth. I begin the drool again. Hello, Earth the Blicky. Huh? Sayori? Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spaced out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Sorry, I can't stop thinking about devour devouring those sweet, sweet cupcakes. Yeah, cupcakes. You didn't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, no what? Well, uh, you could come to my club. We, I already said I was going to. Sorry, yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Dude, you already agree that you're going to her club. What? Eh, <laughs> you meanie. I remember now, Siri is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 100% sure she only did because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. I'm just kidding. After all, I promised you to come. I promise you to come. 
and want to part I promised you to come and want to partake in the cupcakes. Yes, let's go. I can almost taste those sweet, sweet cupcakes. This man really likes cupcakes. And thus, today marks the day I sold myself for cupcakes. But it's worth it. Wait, I've said this before, right? I delightfully followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom doors, nearly ripping the doors from their hinges. <laughs> Damn, that girl is crazy strong. I better remember not to get on her bad side. Fresh meat is here, bitches. Uh, I mean, we got a new member to join our literature club. Eehee. <laughs> Sayori, I told you not to call me that. No, sorry. <laughs> I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Sayori always says nice things about you. I heard you're quite the charmer. Okay, Sayori's telling everyone about me. I've got to be careful. Sayori, a boy? Really? This is supposed to be girl power forever. Now you brought some worthless man meat into the fray? Way to kill the atmosphere. Worthless man meat? You got a problem with me? Sarcastic undertone. She's got spunk. I think this girl will be interesting in the very least. Don't call me short. I'll teach you how to bow to the master. Natsuki makes hand gestures that look like Sunny Chiba's palm strike to the balls. Ah, Blicky, what a surprise. I mean, welcome back to the club. Eehehe. <laughs> Blicky, nice to see you here again. Um, hi? I can't seem to shake these shivers down my spine. Like, I felt that I had to repeat this before hundreds, if not thousands of times. What does she mean again? I try to shake it off. If off. The shivers subside. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I must be as dumb as a bag of bricks to not notice this before. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. I'm, star I'm staring at a bunch of cute girls. So I don't know what else to say. Natsuki. Hmph. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. So, why are you here? It's not just for the cupcakes, right? Oh, no oh crap, she knows. No, no, I came to check this place out because Sayori keeps wanting me to check out this place out and join. I finally gave in. <gasps> hmm, are you sure about that? My cupcakes are to die for. Flicky, didn't you know? She's the same year as us. Haven't you noticed that already? Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Uh, I whisper back to Sayori. But she's so tiny, how is that even possible? Mmm, coffee. Sayori shrugs, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki. She's always full of energy. Energy! Most likely from the sugar highs from eating all the cupcakes. And this is Sayori. She's the smartest member of the club. D don't say things like that. You're embarrassing me. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. I guess it's nice to meet. <laughs> you blicky. After all, Siri said how fresh you are. <laughs> Was that a joke? Nice! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Blicky? You should know, after calling me man meat after all. Am I just a piece of meat to these girls? I'm confused. Tip for life, you're always just a piece of meat to girls. That's just life. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? <laughs> That's right. It's great to see you again, Blicky. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh crap, I really had no idea Monica was here. Wait, how do I know Monica again? I know basically she's completely out of my league, but why do I think that? I try to remember Monica, but can't. My mind is jumbled. I feel so conflicted right now. Is it self-doubt? And Carter. That feeling I had is gone now. I feel like nothing will stop me this time. Y you too, Monica. Let's have a great year together. Better yet, let's hang out more time, more this time, okay? What did you just say to me? Hang out? More? Monica pauses in thought. Come sit down, Blicky. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Goes up a few decks around to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened, so there's one more space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. So let's see. There's four girls, fifth seat. Why is it... Why is there six places? That doesn't make sense to me, but okay. I feel different today for some reason. Like I have a newfound confidence. I sit next to Monica. Why we didn't sit next to Sayori, I don't know. But I got, we might find out in the next episode. So have a great day. Know you're beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll speak to you soon. If you like this video, give it a like. Dislike this video, give it a like. Anyway. And I'll see you in the next episode. Roll the outro.
The money, well, yes, it's true, and I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny. All material things could mean less to me. Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B sample with a dope ass beat and get the mic check. All the levels right, and if it's good, then I'll be here for several nights. Cause the only thing I need is a strong supporting team.